Welcome back to the channel. In a previous video, which was kind of a redo of my very first video, Auto Body 101, I explained how a dent works on a panel and how you got direct damage, indirect damage, the high spots, the eyebrows around it. And so I'm gonna take that same fender and I'm gonna repair this dent in the front part of it. You can follow along as I repair this fender and get it ready for Bondo. I'll show you my tool selection and the process and order we're gonna fix this. So let's get started. All right, this fender was hit in headlight and the core support, and it's pushed in pretty good right here, but it didn't physically get hit right there. It's actually pretty smooth, other than this nice big dent that rolls through here, so I don't want to take a hammer and just start banging on that and put a bunch of more little dents in it from the inside out. So what I'm going to do, it's got this, actually there's a body line that runs about a half inch away from the edge of the fender. I want to try and get something behind that and start pushing that up. And I'll probably use a dolly in my hand and bump this up. I don't want to cause any extra damage to it. And then also this mounting flange here. That's bent out, so we'll get that driven back in. What I explained in a previous video, this needs to come up. And this part of the dent here, this outside edge, this eyebrow, is going to have to get driven back up to get this line where it needs to be. So let me show you what I'm going to start with. Okay, I'm going to start with this heavy spoon dolly here, and I'm going to get behind that thing, try and get it right on that edge, drive that up. I have to use a heavy hammer. I'm not going to just use a regular little body hammer because this has a lot of weight to it. So let's drive this up. All right, I'm going to take my heavy toe dolly now, get underneath this. I'll bump on this with the dolly, and then I'll start, once it comes up most of the way, I'll start on the outside with the hammer. Okay, that's not doing anything, so that tells me that this is still too far down. It needs to come up more. This can't come out because it's got nowhere to go. So. Let me take that spoon dolly, get this up a little more, and then maybe work on this flange here next. Yeah, if this doesn't want to go anywhere right now, that's telling you that it can't go. So you have to try and relieve some of the stress that's holding it in place, which is going to be this top edge. Now this is just a brick set, and I think I've showed this in another video, but it works nice on stuff like this, on these edges and flanges. So even though this is screwed into place, when that gets hammered, this fender will shift in. So let's see what happens. I'm going to push on the bottom of the fender with my knee to kind of push that up. Okay, this is coming up pretty good. Let's see if this will move now. Yep, it's starting to come up. very front corner here is rolled up. I'm going to take my thin toe dolly, support underneath here, and then hammer this down. Okay, and it's actually coming out pretty good. Haven't spent a whole lot of time on it. I'm going to push on the back side of here with the heavy dolly and start working on this eyebrow with the hammer. I switch to my heel dolly. That toe dolly a little bit too long and it's hitting up here. I want to put my pressure right there. Okay, I got the edge of my dolly right underneath here and I want to hammer a little bit on that. Okay, I'm going to switch to my pick hammer and work a little bit right in here. It's a little bit low yet. I think this front edge is up and without having a headlight to fit this and it's not on a car, I'm just going to have to guess. So this actually repair what I'm doing is going to be a little quicker than if I'm actually fitting a headlight because I don't know where it's supposed to be. And I realize this black fender probably doesn't show up real good on camera where the dents is. I'm trying to move the light around. See if that'll help. I'm going to use this spoon dolly here right underneath this and try and get this front edge down. I 
And what I'm doing here, I can see a few low spots in there. I'm using the pick hammer on the back side, light dolly on the front, and I can sight down it and get this fairly straight. And from hammering that eyebrow out, got a few dents from the hammer. I'm using this dolly, trying to get it right on the center of the dent and hammer around the edges. And what helps quite a bit, and I use it on almost every job I do, as long as I can fit it in there, one of these magnetic flashlights. This is a snap on here, and they got a strong magnet on them. And I'll put it inside the fender and you look down in there and that'll show the high and low spots and that way if you're struggling trying to find the right spot with the pick if you can look up in there you can see it and that helps a whole bunch it's actually feeling pretty good it's not going to take a whole lot more work to get this ready for bondo and what i talked about in the previous video on this fender how these eyebrows are used to be a little bit tougher to get out than the main dent and I can still feel it a little bit in here it's not bad so I've been taking the heavy dolly and I'll push above that little high spot and I'll hammer on it then I'll come down below it and push on it and that'll help work it out without overstretching it by relieving this eyebrow here that helps let this metal go back where it's supposed to and this should come out nice and straight across the top of this fender. Okay, and I've still got my heavy dolly right back here. Still working on this eyebrow. Right there. That's where I'm pushing. Okay, it's feeling pretty good. I think the next step would be to take a DA with some 80 grit buzz over it and that's going to show up any high and low spots. But right now total I've probably only got 30-35 minutes to get it from where it was to right here. So it's probably about 95% straight. A few little ripples here and there would show up with the DA. And for this video, you get the idea how this works. Okay, I hope that gives you a better understanding what you can do with your hammers and dollies, how the metal works, how one part of the dent affects the other. So that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching.